Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Star Guru Beauty Channel. Thank you very much for dropping by and coming back to my channel and watch the videos. Now, if you have not subscribed to our channel or this is just the first time somehow you come across our video, please remember click the button down below and join our family and be part of our awesome beauty community. Now, if you have been watching for my channel for a little bit of while, you know that I am obsessed with K beauty, Korean skincare, and many of you actually also share the same passion with me. I am amazed to learn. Learn so much behind the K Beauty skincare, and I'm just very excited. So I wanted to come back and share with you. First of all, what is beauty? If you ask the Korean people what is beauty, their definition is very different. Their definition of beauty is good and healthy skin. It has nothing to do with cosmetics. Skin care, it's like part of their health as a whole human being. So skincare is not something additional, not something extra. It's very basic. You want to have a healthy body, and your skin it's part of your body we all have skin problems right our acne our hyperpigmentation our wrinkles our fine line anything that appears on your face that you're not happy with those are your skin problem and skincare it's the healing makeup for them is not a solution it's not a healing method that's why in the K beauty in the Korean world, when it comes to skincare, they are very they are very very prioritized in moisturizing, brightening, and healthy glow. It's just a very essential element in their mindset. So that's what beauty means to them. What is the K beauty philosophy behind it all? Um, Korean skincare, it's all about putting the nutrition back into your skin. You know, it's just to strengthen your skin, just like what you would do to strengthen your body by strengthening your immune system. Same thing, they want to put the nutrition back into your skin in this case. And also, they use a much more gentle approach to deal with the skincare issue. That's why we don't see that many scrubs or retinols or acids. Now, given nowadays there are the convergence between East and West, so we're seeing it more, but originally they don't go to harsh acids or their percentage is low or retinols. Actually, I still haven't seen any retinol product from K-Beauty so far. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they're out there, but I don't think, I don't believe I've seen any. When they do their skincare, they always being very, very conscious about avoiding irritation or dehydrating. You know, I've told you before, some of the products that I try, they're kind of harsh and they're really dehydrating me. Um, in the brand like Drunk Elephant, we all love Drunk Elephant. And then we all love The Ordinary. I talk about The Ordinary skincare so much on my channel. But they kind of use stronger ingredients, you know, like the guy call it acid or their uh, vitamin C can go up to 15% or 20%. But compared to the more traditional K Beauty skincare, their percentage is way lower, like maybe between 4 to 5%. That's all you will see. But like I said, nowadays it's different. They are like merging the best of the both worlds. K Beauty pride themselves into creating hydrating, brightening, and glowing skin product. Basically, hydrating, glowing, moisturizing, it's their ultimate goal when they create their skincare products. That's all in their mind. They always use derivatives that are from the uh, plants, uh, uh, you know, like more natural ingredient as their active ingredients, way more gentle. Just to give you an example, instead of using salicylate acid, they rather use willow bark extract. Willow bark extract naturally has the brightening effect, you know, so they just choose, choose something more natural. But for anti-aging and brightening ingredients, they will use niacinamide or licorice uh, root or even ginseng instead of you know retinol, strong vitamin C, and all those. So that was just an example for us to bear in mind when we come to the difference between the East and the West. Why is skincare so essential for the K-beauty? You know, in their world, in Korea or maybe Japan also, skincare it's like I repeatedly said that it is not something extra. It's so essential. It's basically part of their life and health. 89% of the Korean women or men, 
they spend their money on skincare rather than makeup. And I think I am beginning to be more like them. So, you know, it's just that their priority, even their makeup products, you know, like um, CC cream, BB cream, you know, BB cream, CC cream, their product, their, even it is a makeup, but again, it is kind of like also comprised with skincare benefits which is to repair the skin while you are wearing your makeup so it's not just about covering it up it's also about dealing with the underlying issue healing your skin uh, problems repairing your skin situation while you're putting makeup on so i really really like this philosophy i i, I love it when i hear it skincare is like just for them is like normal like taking a shower you take care of your daily cleanliness your skin also need to be clean and also need to be nourished just something very basic for them so for example there you have heard about the skincare brand from korea it's called skin 79 skin 79 they blend makeup and skincare together all with their bb cream cc cream is all have those you know you know what it means you know all the bb cc cream but not only that they have your coverage they have your sunscreen in there but they also have the brightening effect they have the hydrating risk effect blah blah blah, blah. they believe in prevention rather than uh, dealing with the a treatment later on also it's like you can save a lot of money instead of waiting for your wrinkles to come out and then you go to do your Botox or whatever you need to spend thousands of money to buy skincare or equipment to deal with it they just do preventative so since they were very early age they start doing a lot of stuff and just slow down their aging now I understand why not only that they put on their SPF the moment they leave the door, they also bring their umbrella. You know, if you have been to, you saw a movie or you have been to the Asian countries, they do umbrella when it is under the sun. They don't want the sun, the UVB, UVA ray to destroy their skin cells. So that is preventative. They are preventing it to even happen before it happens rather than later on or oh, problems and then they have to deal with it instead of hoping later on to find treatment to deal with it or later on to buy a lot of makeup to covering it they just started early with ingredients like ginseng collagen chia seed avocado rice or soybeans their typical korean skincare regimen it's going to be very focusing on layering their hydration layering their hydration you probably heard about that layering hydration it's just to uh to counteract their harsh environment you know like the strong hot weather or something like that and so that's why you also heard the 10 steps skincare routine is that the korean skincare uh, routine can go up to 10 to 12 steps when i heard this the first time i do skincare they would tell me cleanse toner moisturizer that's it you're done or daytime you put on the sunscreen okay so four step that's it but now i was learning all about korean skincare it is like double cleanse oil cleanse foam cleanse and then your toner and then your essence and then your ampoule and then your serum and then your sheet mask and then your uh, moisturizing and then eye cream lip mask and then your blah 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 over 10 steps actually i count over 10 steps but it's just that it's just a difference you know like they're not about fast 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 get it done it's not about that they're about really building it up and strengthening their skin and putting back all the hydration and nourishment back into their skin and so they can just be very very healthy glowing and hydrating all right, so now we can go to talk about the product examples, right? Now that we know about the part, some of this K-beauty philosophy and their belief behind. Today, I just want to share three and then I'll save the others for the part two videos. Now, the first one is this, like when we come to the, this is the Ace Well Licorice a balancing cleansing toner even though each step you're targeting your different issue on your skin but a lot of their product actually is very multitasking this is one of them just one of the many it is also help you to cleanse it's also help you to balance your ph level and it's also hydrating 
you know, at the same time, doing many things at the same time. So this is the bottle. You probably have heard of it, and you've probably seen it in the YouTube everywhere. Now, what I get here is I didn't get the toner. I get this is, uh, it's a essence mist. Like that, so I just miss it. So it's like a toner essence combined together. But let me read you about what is the licorice do. Now, if you are going to not get this mist, you're really going to get that toner, which is eighteen dollar. You can buy it in Soko Glam. They cleanse and brightening skin toner. It has a pH level five point five, electively balancing your skin. You know our natural pH level. It's like between three point five. Somewhere to four, I think about there. So this is a great one, 5.5, not overly exceeding or the other way around. So it's very good, good for balancing. They also put in the peony extract and the very high concentration of licorice water, which are both natural brighteners. See, they're not using a lot of vitamin C or acid stuff to brighten your skin. Instead, they use licorice ex extract. That's what that's what we mean. They Rather prioritize on natural ingredients. So this has a high concentration of licorice. Licorice is just a natural brightener itself. And then they also put in the green tea extract. The green tea extract is very good for calming your skin and also very good to get rid of the hyperpigmentation or dark spots. You know, so it also is a ticket to supple and glowing skin. See, that's why they are. Very natural, uh, very gentle, and they're multitasking, and they are very uh, focused on glowing, hydrating skin. Fits, check, 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 check. All right. Nowadays, there we are seeing more convergence. The East marrying the West. You know, now the some of the K beauty, not all, some, they are kind of taking the Western approach and using a little bit more stronger ingredient. And this is one of the example is by Some by Me. What I have here is the Some by Me AHA, BHA, and PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner. It looks like this now. Although I. Look at some of the uh, K Beauty gurus on YouTube. They are saying this is too harsh and they do not recommend it. All right? See, even the more traditional, they still believe AHA and BHA is still way too harsh for them. But anyway, um, Some by Me has the entire AHA, BHA, PHA line, not just the toner. They have the toner, serum, moisturizer, cleansing pad. Uh, whatever you know, the whole skincare line. But I just get their toner. I didn't get the other stuff. But the line is so popular because the product contains just enough three types of chemical exfoliants to effectively improve your skin texture and your acne without causing any irritation. The reason they put into the PHA, this is a polyhydroxy acid. It's way, way, way gentler than AHA and BHA. They are the largest molecules, so that means they're going to slow. Sip in your pores, not too evasive. So that's why they put in the PHA. So this one will not cause any irritation. Plus, it is a big dose of soothing and hydrating ingredients. Like they also put in Centella Asiatica. You already watch our video. Everybody loves Centella Asiatica, and also they put in some plant-based oil. Plant base, see something always. They look for the roots, you know, like ginseng root, ginger root, uh, some leaves, plant root, because they are all about being natural. See, it's a glow recipe pineapple seed bright uh, serum, so it is great for brightening and smoothing your skin. What does it have? It has pineapple, vitamin C, and chamomile. Chamomile, we all know that it is such a soothing, soothing ingredient for your skin, right? So this is like it, like this. It's a serum. So again, it is very multitasking, and then they use something very natural, fruit, you know, pineapple. A pineapple, they put in some vitamin C and something to soothe. It says, it says this product will reveal your poreless, translucent, and illuminating glass skin with brightening pineapple. So pineapple naturally already has the brightening uh, power inside the pineapple itself. This lightweight liquid formulated with three types of vitamin C, including 22% pure uh, pineapple juice, and then a potent source of natural vitamin C, a natural AHA enzyme, blended with calming chamomile, 
chamomile, the formula, retexturize, hydrate, soothe, and give you glowing and luminous complexion. That's the claim. See? Yeah. So again, it's very multitasking, very natural, very non-irritating, very gentle formula. And that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about when we come to K-Beauty. All right, so this is the part one of our what is the difference between K-Beauty and Western skincare. K-Beauty skincare versus Western skincare. So stay tuned for part two. I'll see you guys in the part two video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to be the star of the show. Thank you.